Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinant and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I've uh, gone ahead and took the liberty to uh, clearing out all these jailers again in the lower regions of the Irritil dungeon. And I'm back at the cell of that alleged sorcerer, so I'm gonna try... Yeah, there we go. Use Jailer's key ring. And that should allow us to enter this place. Hello, sir. Oh, there you are. Or madam. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. How sweet. Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. Okay. Rear. <laughs> okay then. Ah, uh, everybody in Dark Souls is a pervert. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not one of them, are you? No, we're not. Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. So, what business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. And I am no exception. Have you seen my face lately? Offer help. You're here to save me. Of course we are. But I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Is that something you can forgive? Uh, save her nonetheless or do not save her. Well, um, I suppose I'm gonna save her. Because I don't really know what the consequences are, but there's not really a message here that says me to do otherwise, so save her nonetheless. Oh, really? You are no ordinary woman. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla. Hello, Carla. And I accept your proposal. So, ah, there she goes, on her way to filing shrine, I suppose. Um, that still leaves two keys that I haven't used yet. Because I found... Um, the Jailer's Key Ring, that's the one I used. The Jailbreaker's Key, Key to the Barred Window of Irritil Dungeon. And the Old Cell Key, Key to the Oldest Cell in all of Irritil Dungeon. So I don't really know where these keys fit then. Because uh, I could return all the way back to where we came from. I'm just gonna take a quick look around. If this takes too long, I'm probably gonna edit this out, but uh, let's go looking for the window. I don't really see... I haven't really seen a window. Could be in one of the upper areas, but... Um, I'm also wondering if I'm gonna antagonize that flying thing again, if I... Go on the bridge? Yeah, there he goes. Wonder if I can get that spear because it kind of looks cool. Um, so I think I'm gonna take a quick detour towards Firelink Shrine. We could go down there. I still don't really know if I missed that last two. Yeah, I really want to know where the window in the lowest cell is, but I'm gonna waste too much time, I think. I do need to get a proper episode, or otherwise you guys won't be happy. But first, let's go to Firelink Shrine, heal up a bit, repair my equipment, and then I'm gonna see what we can find down that other ladder over there. So see you at Firelink Shrine. Okay, so we have a few things that we can do. Um, first off, I'm going to give the Estus Shard to Andre. To give us another Estus Flask. Ah, what well, Estus Flask Shard. 
reinforce Estus flask. Don't think I can do it again, no. Um, I'm gonna hold off on anything else, because I don't really... Pretty, I don't want <laughs> can't really do anything else. Uh, where would Carla be? Did she join Orbeck on the side here, or did she go anywhere else? I don't really see her immediately, but I Back can again, I see. talk to, too. to Orbeck, as I can give him the Logan oh scroll. My. You've made quite the discovery. This is a scroll of the prodigious Big Hat Logan, a masterful sorcerer, long missed in Vinheim. And now we have a scroll, right here in my very hands. Yeah. I don't mean to see anything in the form I hope. Okay, that was really limited. Let's see what we can buy. Um, it looks like his inventory has expanded quite a bit. Um, let's see here. Homing Soul Mass, sorcery developed by Big Hat Logan, the great sorcerer who left the Dragon School in an age-long past. Releases a homing soul mass, the sorcery may offer a clue as to what Logan sought, but further investigation suggests its attraction to living things mirrors the nature of the dark. Soul Spear, sorcery developed by Big Hat, Big Hat Logan, the great sorcerer who left the Dragon School in an age-long past. The spear boasts superior penetrating power and it's this testament to Logan's strength in battle. That's a very interesting one, but I need a whopping 32 intelligence. And it costs 32 FP to cast. So it's very interesting to pure intelligence builds. But I'm not really interested in it right now. Although... I could use it. I could buy it already. Don't think... Well, just in case Orbeg disappears, I'm gonna buy it anyway. Come again. Okay, come again then. Uh, would Carla have joined her fellow female sorcery expert? Apparently not. Or she might have taken place at um, Yol's old body. Oh no, she's right here. Oh, Hello, I Carla. As I said, I am Carla. And I'm grateful to you. Now, what shall we do? The only thing that might interest you is my sorcery. Yes, it might. Although my dark arts are a detestable sort. I don't care, that really. wouldn't interest you, would it? Anything that can help me has to learn dark hmm. sorceries. You're a wicked one, aren't you? Because I have a few dark tomes in my possession that nobody wants Humans to teach me. Dark. And you are no different. Yeah, that's what I've been saying all along. But the truth remains the truth. Be careful, though. Few humans are privy to this knowledge. Let it be a secret. Kept between you and I. Okay, then. So I'm going to give the pyromancy tomes. So we have Kulanas, who was only to be given to a female sorcerer, which is... Clearly her. Oh, a pyromancy tome, have we? Quilana, Witch of Isolith. Well, this is a fascinating pyromancy. Very well. If this is your wish. She has no qualms with it. I will it. unravel the thing the best I can. Besides, it will be nice to play master for once. Great! And then the other one is the Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome, the one we found next to the boss, uh, which uh, our Pyromancer was afraid of using. So let's give that as well. Oh, another Pyromancy Tome, have we? And one that resonates with the dark. Yes. Well suited to me. <laughs> I may be a heretical sorcerer. But you bring me nothing but pyromancies. Fiendish little lass, you. Yes, I am. Let's see what we can learn. Holy... Well, shit. 
They're all pretty expensive. Affinity, cost, dark manifestation of humanity. Dark edge, a strike with blade formed of humanity's darkness. Fire whip, sweep foes with fire whip. So the dark ones are sorceries, although those are pyromancy. Uh, I'm gonna read those. A forbidden dark sorcery. It appears to be an expression of envy or perhaps love towards another that will tenaciously pursue its target, even if, like so many human desires, it amounts to nothing but misfortune. Uh, strikes with blade passed from mother to daughter. This blade was intended for both protection and as a means of taking one's own life. The young girl never swung it more than once. Fire Whip. Primal pyromancy taught by Quilana, daughter of the Witch of, of Isolith, sweeps foes with a fire whip. The caster manipulates the flames at will, making this an extremely difficult spell to use. Pyromancy is at once the knowledge of controlling flame and the knowledge that control is impossible. So, only 2 FP. Strange. Surrounds the caster, the firestorm, surrounds the caster with multiple pillars of flame. The raging storm is indiscriminate, such as the intrinsic horror of the flame. Only 2 FP costs, that's strange. Report. Charms the enemy, making them a temporary ally. The living are lured by flame and this tendency is elemental to the art of pyromancy. Okay. Then the black flame. Pyromancy discovered by grave wardens after High Lord Wolnir fell to the abyss. Create a giant black flame in hand. Black flames born from the abyss bear no shadow. They are said to be the impenetrable fires of humanity. And the fire orb um, hurls black fireball. The black flame inflicts dark damage, striking targets with weighty force. They're all very, very interesting. But I'm gonna wait with the... Uh, purchasing any of those because I'm not really into pyromancies and most of these are pyromancies except for the affinity and dark edge and those two are well have too high of an intelligence requirement for me to use properly although the fire whip and firestorm don't very interesting do you stay wait uh, do you have anything yes. else to say there's one thing that you should know there is a darkness within man, and I am afraid you will peer into it. Whether the fear will spark self-reflection or a ruinous nostalgia is up to you entirely. Fear not. Your choice will bring you no scorn. Okay, then. There is one thing. There is one. So Do we kind of safe. fixed that. Because we peered into the darkness using Yol, but uh, that turned out okay. I wonder if we sent, if we can oh, send Greyrot to uh, Irritil now, because we kind of cleaned it out. So let's talk. What is it? I'm ready to go thieving at a mo. I'm gonna send him to pillage. Mm, a fine choice. I am Grey Rat the Thief. <laughs> okay, Grey Rat, let's see if we can purchase anything from you before you leave. Uh, it doesn't really look like I need anything from you. Still have plenty of arrows. And anything else is, well, nothing I'm gonna use. Nope. Goodbye. Do stay safe, you hear? Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty much everyone. Now I should level up. Because uh, I don't think I have anything else Welcome at my disposal. Very well. Level up. Then um, at least one level. I should do a second one or either buy one of those sorceries. Um, you know what? Let's put endurance to a nice 20, a nice round 20. I like that. Thank you. And I'm gonna use the rest to buy Fire Whip, I think it was. Ah. Yeah, Fire Whip. There we go. Don't steal my okay, that was different. 
kind of blazed through that, but it was a different thing she said. Uh, so I'm gonna head back to the profane capital, since that is where we should focus our efforts right now. Although I do still have those two keys. But who knows, I might end up there eventually again. So if I take this ladder... Slide! Man, this goes down. Someone died right here. Um, where the... What the hell was that? Yeah. Well, the fire in the Lord Vessel doesn't seem to be happy to see me. Yeah, that's... that's... that's fucking great. Oh, gold. No, no, no. Okay, so that was a bit, uh... Whew, the bleeding on the katana is doing its work rather well. I wonder if I can drop down anything here. Large soul. And then... Priestesses. And a lot of treasure, apparently. Those don't look friendly. I can get here relatively quickly again, so... It looks... Okay... You... Oh, something spawned over there. Oh shit. That was uh, pretty unfair, but hey. Yeah, they double teamed me there. Okay, let's try that again. So the orb is gonna fire all me. Okay. roll through that guy and then run I'm wondering I can probably lure never's here Okay. 
So that makes it a bit more manageable. Handmaid's Dagger. They're calling them Handmaids. Handmaid's Dagger. Dagger used by Handmaids of the Profane Capital. Each successful attack replenishes slight amounts of aid FP. It is said that these women took pleasure in wounding others. Blindspot used against shielded foes to break through their guard by attacking from the side. Interesting, but I'm glad they didn't use that on me. So are there more of those gargoyles? Dash required ahead. Oh god. Handmaid's dagger. Destroy this thing. Is this gonna spit fireballs at me nonetheless? Oh. That's not good, is it? Or maybe it is. They look friendly. For now. Oh god. You don't deserve this. Rusted coin. Great. I walked all the way here for a rusted coin. That's the one up there. There's nothing around here, apparently. Is that an item? Oh, it is. Another rusted coin. Anything behind this guy? No, there isn't. Okay then, so I suppose... We almost have a boss ahead of us. I do want to check out the other side of the... Oh god... There's a lot of them... That was bullshit. That was bullshit. Seriously? Okay, are those the only ones that followed? Okay, we're still alive, we're still alive. And with a buttload of souls at that. So let's... 
Hello. I too like inflicting pain. Especially from behind. That sounded way dirtier than it should have been. Okay. Mimicry had, by the way, be wary of duo. Okay. Great shield of glory. I'm gonna suppose the other one is one as well. And there goes the other one. And a rust rusted golden coin. Okay, so I'm gonna applaud this message because that was really good. Um, and then let's check out the shield. The great shield of glory, a great shield adorned with flowing patterns, a celebration of an ancient glory. Boasts the highest stability of such shields, but with reduced stamina regeneration speed. Perhaps it's his glory that begets indolence. And with a shield bash. So that would be a really nice combo with the other one. Um, what's this? Item. Oh! Look at that. Totally missed that. Ember. I'm really into applauding today. Oh, this one dropped something as well. Handmaid's Dagger. I've got 15,000 of those already. Um, anything else hidden in the... Treasures? Doesn't look like it. So well then, don't want to really go on with this, but time for bravery, be wary of weapon. Well, isn't that a generalization? Throne and then try weapon. But uh, apparently we have a boss ahead of us and a lot of grasping. Look at that. Look at that guy grasping to the sky. I'm going to take a little break. So uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because any support is really, really welcome. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.